Well, the sun is setting soon, so it's almost time to see a parade of planets. It's your last chance to get out there and see an astronomical phenomenon for some time. Yeah, that's right. Tonight, seven planets will be in the sky, which won't happen again for decades. Eight, Eight. News Now. He's Ryan Tisbaneski. Yes. We're doing it. Ryan, you're getting it in unison. That's how excited we are to go to CSN to the planetarium where Ryan's got the best view of the day. Yeah, Brian, Ozzy, I lucked out. I'm sorry that you're stuck in there in the studio, but I managed to get an amazing telescope. And look at look, look at the sky really quick. There were some clouds up there earlier, but now it's nice and clear. Oh my goodness. There were some naysayers in the, in the station before I headed out there. Like, oh, there's clouds out there. You're not going to have a good time. But guess what? We are. And I'm having a good time with Andrew Kerr. He's, he's the manager of the planetarium at CSN. How you doing? I'm doing well. Thanks for being out. Yeah, so we've got this parade of planets about to kick off with the sun setting. What's the best way to get an eye on it? Uh, you can actually do it just by heading outside tonight. You don't have to go anywhere in particular. Although you can come out here to the planetarium and get a look at uh, some of these planets through the telescope. But just look to the west just after the sun sets. You're going to see a bright star-like object. That's Venus. Almost straight overhead, another bright object. That's Jupiter. And then around in the east, you're going to see kind of a pinkish red star. That's Mars. Those are the three you're going to see easiest tonight of the seven planets that are actually out there. Yeah, so for the other ones, would you need something like a telescope or just a better angle or something like that? Yeah, better angle. Uh, Saturn, Mercury, and Neptune are all going to be pretty low in the haze. Uh, and so we're not going to be able to see those real easy. Uranus is a little bit higher. It actually can be visible, but only through a telescope. All right, great. Well, you've got plenty of telescopes out here at the planetarium. What can people do to get out here? Yep, you can just come out to the, the planetarium at the North Las Vegas campus. Uh, the telescope observing is always free. We usually start that after our 8 o'clock show, uh, but we've got shows at 6, 7, and 8. You can stop in and uh, join us in the planetarium for a cool show and then see the uh, parade of planets across the sky. Yeah, and when was the last time we saw something like this? Do you know? Well, it... it it's not too long ago. We've had four or five planets in the sky several times since 2016. Uh, seven is a little bit different. We won't see that again until 2040, so it's going to be a while for, for having seven in the sky again. But uh, we'll have another five here this fall uh, and be able to see them. But that's going to be right before dawn, too. <laughs> All right. Well, when, when I'm starting to, to push retirement, I'll, I'll get my eye in the sky and see another seven planets. So probably look back at this in another 40 years. And everybody out there, just come out. Go, you know, go look at the sky. It's going to be a while before you can see this. And so I'm going to send it back to you reporting live from CSN's North Las Vegas campus, Ryan Tisbaneski, 8 News Now. Ryan, you just finished college a few years ago. You can't even talk about retirement yet. <laughs> According to NASA, there will be a smaller planetary alignment in August. But after that, it will be another three years before it happens again.